At the University of Kentucky, a team of researchers continue advancing strategies to help prevent child sex trafficking across the state. So we're dispelling myths, we're educating them on what to look for, we're training them on how to screen, um, and all the while keeping them within their role and uh, scope of work. So we're not trying to turn teachers, bus drivers into detectives or mental health professionals but we are trying to help them take the information that they're observing, that they're hearing, that they're um, uncovering in their interactions with the child and turning that into action when needed. Appalachian Wireless just can't stop themselves. Get the iPhone 13 128 gig for a penny with a two-year contract on the mix and match or unlimited plan. New or renewed line. While supplies last. One penny for an iPhone 13. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. The study focuses on creating a training program for middle school staff to identify possible child sex trafficking victims and work towards getting them help or preventing it altogether. The study is now in its second phase, which is working to develop an intervention to use in roughly 50 middle schools across the state as part of a controlled trial. Part of what we want to understand is if we can get more screening and more attention to this, we can get a better handle on how often it is happening. According to statistics from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Kentucky had the nation's highest child abuse and neglect rate for the third consecutive year in 2021. Studies such as this one could one day help to dampen the number of children currently at risk for child sex trafficking. For Mountaintop News, I'm Kelsey Fidel.